Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see how to merge the results and this will definitely help you in terms of comparing the results and if you want to really show the uh, uh, results to the uh, stakeholders or to the developers and to show them that how much performance uh, results have been increased or uh, in, uh, like you can even show them the graphs, like how how much do they increase and uh, what is the increase in response time. So all these things, uh, we can do it. In fact, we can collect these results and then put it in Excel sheet, and then we can create them. But there are options to do that in tools like Neo Load or in Load Runner. But there is again, I have found an option and still it was there. So I'm just going to show you how to do that and um, I'll show you how and I'll tell you like what are the advantages of doing it at the end of this video and how many reports can we attach? I mean, how many reports can we merge? So we will see all these uh, in this video and this video will definitely help you in uh, your report creation. And uh, please do uh, watch the entire video and uh, uh, before we move on to this video, this is me, Yosin Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Sala YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, give a thumbs up, a like, and share the video with your friends. And don't forget to join join the channel. And that will help me to create quality content. So as I told you, I'm creating videos on a daily basis for Jmeter. Somewhere, like, I'm just creating a content. And that, I feel, I mean, like, I'm getting a lot of feedback from the people uh, that they are really helpful for them and uh, in fact even yesterday I have uh, created a video on how to exclude or how to include the URLs and yeah I have used the same technique today to create the script and this in fact have saved me a lot of time uh, in deleting or again like it helps me to avoid the human errors where I will not be accidentally deleting the want the required URL so it, it really helps you and Please do try and yeah, in fact, um, this video I have posted it yesterday. If you want, I can share you the link. And don't forget to join our WhatsApp channel. I have a we have a group, a very big WhatsApp channel where there are like more than 300 people and they were sharing their thoughts and uh, knowledge in the group. And there were like a lot of uh, interactions going on and um, a lot of communications going on in terms of your interview, in terms of the job opportunities in the industry, because it's, it's a collection of performance test engineers. So yeah, please do join, consider joining the WhatsApp channel. And uh, we only discuss about the performance testing, nothing else, uh, performance engineering, nothing else, and mostly into technical is something like a cloud or people uh, wanted me to create videos on Dynatrace, App Dynamics. So there were like a huge uh, constructive discussions are going on. So please do consider joining uh, our uh, channel. And yeah, now let's go to the video. So uh, yeah, like I told you, I have created this video here and um, I have used this uh, a regular expression thing uh, to include only the pet store director pop.com so using this i've created the script so that i do not want to delete the uh, unwanted urls because it's only it only included only the required url so you can use this in your script again and i have even showed you how to exclude the urls as well in my previous videos so you can watch that and what's the plan today so the plan today is i'm going to run two different tests one is with 50 users and one is with 100 users with the same set of transactions and then we will merge. In fact, I will uh, even uh, try um, with three different tests, like one is with 50, one is with 100, and one is with 150, and I'll show you how to merge them, and we will see how does it work. And this is going to be very interesting and informative as well. Like I told like every my, every other my video, every uh, video of mine. And uh, yeah, so uh, always I advise you, it's a best practice to run your test in non-GUI mode. So I'm going to run my test in non-GUI mode here and um, here is my script so i'm going to run this test so jmeter and then the file name uh, the file name is the is merge script or jmx and this is going to be your first test so i'm going to save it in results one.jtl and then i am having my folder as results zero one so now let me start the test and we will meet at the after the end of the test like how does it execute it and then same way we'll proceed with other tests as well so let me start the test and you guys can take a quick break so now i have completed my first set of result and here are the results so now we have got the results here and let me just show it to you yep so here's the results we have got the response times and yep so here are the uh, transactions and we have got the pass, the failure, the minimum, the maximum, the average, and all these response times. 
and now let's go to the next transaction before that let me just go to the charts over time yep everything looks fine the response times active threads over time and uh, coming to the custom graphs over time yep and everything looks fine now uh, let's I'm going to run uh, for the same duration but it's going to be a 100 user test because that will show you how much difference we have with the 50 and the 100 user uh, test so I'll make the changes now so I'll do what I'll do is I just change it to 100 users and the duration is going to be the same and the ramp up time is going to be the same let me clear it and yeah we have saved it so the only change that we have to do is uh, let me go to the command prompt here and I'm going to I need to change the folder so I'll change it to result 2 and then the same way I'll change the uh, file name as well as result 2 now I have started the test and then again yep like I told you we'll meet at the end of the test and then we'll have the results with us and now we have got the second set of tests that's been completed and let's yep so now we have got the second set as well uh, yep, uh, I think I have made a small mistake here. Uh, let me just check it out. Okay, uh, let me fix it. And the thing is, instead of JTL, I made it as JT2, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yep, so I just made that mistake. So let me just quickly re-execute this test sorry apologies for my mistake and let me complete this test and then uh, we'll meet at the end of the test yep uh, so now i have completed the second test and we have got the results 2.jtl and then the result of uh, the second test so let me just go and have a quick look and yep we have got the transactions uh, the minimum maximum and the average uh, response times and everything looks fine and now uh, what we will do is now we will go and start doing the merge right and for that so now we have to do the merge results and for that go to the options the plugins manager under the plugins manager uh, if you have your uh, merge results already installed then you can find it in your installed plugins the merge results and this will help us to uh, add our results and then we can watch the uh, result of this particular uh, the two tests that we have completed and then yeah uh, if you do not want if you don't don't have an option to do it uh, just go to the plugins manager let me just open it real quick because for most of us like the plugins manager do, do not work inside the client network and in those scenarios we can use this option so merge results plugin in jmeter and here uh, you can download the merge results so this is the very first version the 2.1 and yep we might we can expect more uh, upgrades to this in, in the coming period but yeah for now this is the first version the 2.1 and if you download it again uh, you can uh, copy paste the value the jar files in the live and then in the ext folder and once you do a quick restart automatically this will work and how to add this so go to the test plan right click add and again this is a non test element just remember we don't have not, we don't have anything to do uh, with testing in the merge results so this is a non test element so just go to the test plan right click add come to the non test elements and choose the merge results so now you can see here the merge results have come here and now we have to add the results so for that i follow this technique maybe you can also do this so what i'll do is i will first copy the results one copy it here go to add row i give the input file name the full location your local location wherever you have the file so just give the full location and then the prefix label is going to be result minus zero one and i'm going to add another row and same way i'm going to bring in the second file so this is another just a, a shortcut to get your results otherwise you have to go to your folder you have to copy the location and it's it's a kind of a tough work so i normally do this to get the results so now i have added my first results and then i have added my second result 
and now we have to merge this right so uh, now I have to give a name for this here and the next step is I'm going to give a file name and the file name will be merged or just like merge minus test1 minus test2 dot jtl and this is going to be a new file that I have created now and then there is a reason behind it so what I'll do is I have to copy this file and then go to the tools click on generate HTML report and then I have to paste this location here the file the results.jt so this is the merged result right so that's the reason I'm giving it here and then the user dot properties I will have to so before that yep I just missed one point so before that I'll have to click merge and this will create the file for example if you go to the browse and here you can see once I click a merge so that has actually merged both the values the results and then it has config uh, created the compiled compiled the results and then it has merged the results for us well, but now we have to open this value right so we have merged it fine that's fine we have merged the uh, result one and result two so what is I mean how can we view that so for that let's go to the tools open the general HTML report then select the browse and uh, let's fetch the result now and then the user the properties go to uh, the results and then you can find the user of properties output directory we'll have to create a new uh, folder because otherwise what happens is um, if we we can actually use a new folder but uh, existing folder but it will tell us that there are some files inside so it's always good to create a new folder so merged result will be our folder for this example and then clicking open and this will have a result and then the generating report is working fine so the report is created let's go to the folder the merged result and let's open the index.html yep so now we can see the results so if you see here yeah so you can see here uh, the first result in the first transaction has uh, the response times here and then the same way uh, the result 2 and the response times are here and same way you can see for all the transactions like for the first transaction then for the second execution the results and then the same way you can see for all these transactions so this way you can compile you can compile all the results and they'll be very helpful for you uh, while creating your test results to the uh, stakeholders and over time uh, the charts uh, where you can see the throughput the hits per second and then you can even uh, see uh, the transactions per second that's been executed during the test during your result one and during your result two and then the total transactions per second and uh, the response times versus the request so how much response time do you get and how much request uh, were executed during the test and uh, the other graphs and then the custom graph so it's just nothing uh, it's just the overtime so yep so with that uh, i come to an end and yep this merge results will definitely help you to merge the results of both the results i mean like if you, even in fact if you have multiple test results you can merge them like you can find all these in a single table like the number of samples the amount of failures the response times the maximum response time the minimum the average everything and in fact if you have added more uh, listeners you can even get more graphs to it so yeah uh, like uh, any of our other video i think this video also would be very useful to you so until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from and if you're a little slow youtube channel bye bye